The CIF State basketball playoffs began tonight, and six area teams hit the court in first-round action with dreams of capturing a state title. A girls' Division Three action saw Independence host Rio Mesa. First quarter action in the Falcons with the defense. Vanessa Mancera with the interception going the other way, and she'll get the easy layup. Now Mancera on the drive, goes up strong with the left hand and hits the floater. Independence with the inside out game. Mancera from downtown, and she hits. The Falcons trail by five after one. Second quarter and Mancera misses the triple. Now there's a scramble for the loose ball. Aaron Cantrell comes up with it, weaves her way back into the lane, and hits the jumper. Uh, Independence with the steal, and Jasmine Sanders with a great save to Kennedy Sweet, who drives the bucket and foul. Independence led by one at the break, and Mancera hit the game-winning free throw in the waning seconds to send the Falcons to the quarterfinals as they edged Rio Mesa 44-43. The Ridgeview boys hit a shot at the buzzer last week to win an area title in Division Three. Could the Wolfpack carry over that magic to tonight's first-round game? And Division Three Ridgeview's boys hosted ninth seed at Arroyo Grande. Fourth quarter and Ridgeview up by five with less than four minutes remaining, but make it eight after Jeremy Lee hits from downtown. But then the wheels begin to fall off for the Wolfpack. Brock Martin misses the back end of a one and one, and Arroyo Grande hit a three to trim the deficit to five. With just over a minute remaining, Arroyo Grande hits another triple, and they're only down by two. And after being fouled on a three-pointer, Orlando Grande made all three free throws to go ahead by one. Ridgeview has one last chance. Brock Martin tries to tie things in the waning moments, but his shot is blocked and goes off him out of bounds. Royal Grande would hold on and deal the Wolfpack a shocking 46-44 defeat. We should have stepped it up and slowed the game down. And I blame myself because I should have handled that better, along with my teammates. This team was just so skilled. They had so many other guys that could play, that could shoot, that could dribble. I think they made eight threes. So, you know, we just... In other state games featuring local teams, Boys Action Shaw Frontier defeated handily at Calabasas, and the Falcon season ends at top-seeded Alamany. On the girls' side, Stockdale loses at Fontana Summit, and in another Division Three affair, Ridgeview went down to Arroyo Grande. And in a state boys soccer matchup, McFarland hosted its semifinal today and outlasted Lancaster Paraclete 3 2 in overtime to advance to Friday's state title match. The Lakers on the road at Washington tonight. First quarter, and Kobe Bryant finds Andrew Bynum running the floor for the flush, and he's fouled. Now the other big man gets his. Pau Gasol with the left hand, and he's fouled. Gasol had 19 points and 15 boards. The Lakers led by as many as 21 points, but their road woes continue as they lose to the Wizards, 106 to 101. Rapper Jay-Z in attendance as the Clippers took on the Nets. Clippers guard Randy Foy drives, loses the handle, but he finds Blake Griffin for the flush. Now Chris Paul on the break, and no one wants to guard him, so he pulls up and hits from downtown. But the Clippers only had 22 points from their bench, and they would lose to the lowly Nets, 101 to 100. And Parker Stanfield scored the Condors' only goal tonight in the second period as they were shut down by Idaho in a 3-1 defeat. All right, and uh, NFL news. Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning. yes. If you he, haven't heard. He is <laughs> gone, the, the Colts dropped him, yeah. cut him, fired him, basically. Yeah. Um, you know, saving $28 million of cap space, but they are drafting Andrew Luck from Stanford, who supposedly is a can't-miss type of player, a once-in-a-generation talent who may take the Colts back to legitimacy.